Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Chem. You know, I get asked often about this fuzzy stuff that grows in oak trees. Uh, probably Spanish moss or ball moss. I've got an oak tree here that's got some uh, Spanish moss and uh, ball moss that's growing on it, and it's got a little bit of lichen on it as well, which is a fungus. Um, we want to use a product called Coside 3000. Uh, this product contains copper hydroxide. It's produced by a company called DuPont. And it comes in a four pound bag. You can use this product in a pump sprayer uh, at a rate of about a half tablespoon up to a tablespoon and a half per gallon of water. Or if you've got a large area or many trees to spray, you could actually use this at about two and a half pounds per acre of trees. Uh, if you give me just a second, let me mix some up and uh, let's uh, spray this tree. Okay, we've got our product mixed up. We've just got a small amount uh, to spray on this oak tree, so I've chosen to use a pump sprayer to do that with. Uh, I'm gonna mix my product at about a tablespoon per gallon of water. Uh, we're gonna make this application directly to the ball moss, uh, right at the root where it actually buries itself into the trunk of the tree. Keep in mind, ball moss can grow up to lengths of two to three feet long. Uh, in the cases like that, when it gets real severe, um, oftentimes people will ask, hey, you know, it's going to kill my tree, or is it going to kill my tree? No, usually ball moss, Spanish moss is not detrimental to the tree. However, it can create a lot of diffused light, which uh, can create some stress on the tree, which will introduce uh, maybe some other diseases that can attack the tree or insects. So we do want to manage uh, the Spanish moss and ball moss. So I'm going to go ahead and start spraying here, and you want to spray uh, to wet. And you want to also pick a day where the wind is not blowing. Usually early in the morning is the best time to do that. Um, if you give me just a second, uh, give me about 10-15 minutes, I'm going to finish this tree up and I'll be right back with you. Alright, we finished up this uh, spraying this beautiful oak tree here. Uh, hopefully uh, we've got the uh, ball moss and Spanish moss controlled at this point. Uh, we can make another application to this tree uh, in about 12 months if we wish. Um, if you've got a large area of trees to spray, you can mix this product at two and a half pounds uh, per acre. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also, Coside 3000 can be used on fruit trees, nut trees, it can be used uh, in greenhouses, it can be used on vegetable plants. Uh, wonderful product. Uh, just make sure that when you apply the product, you're wearing uh, safety equipment, gloves, you're wearing goggles or, or some sort of safety glasses. Um, and uh, make sure that you're not spraying when on a windy day. Again, you want to spray early in the morning. So just remember, Coside 3000, best product for this particular job. Uh, if you want more tips, advice, you can call our 800 number or you can uh, look up one of our locations and we'll be glad to help you there. I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Kim. Ask us how, then do it yourself.